Guys, welcome to another episode of Banking Creek. We're fishing at legendary Crooked Creek in Yaleville, Arkansas. This is a hot spot for anybody that loves Banking Creek fishing. We're smallmouth fishing right now. Everybody knows about worms. They know about crawdads. They know about the you know the simple bass plastics. And oh, I got one. Get in here, buddy. But. What are some of the other things that bass like to eat in these places? What are some of the other natural forage they have here, like aquatic bugs and helgramites and things like that? So today we're Ned Rig fishing with a helgramite. We're going to talk about that today. There's so much more natural forage in these creeks. You know, there's all sorts of stuff scurrying around on rocks. And I, I recommend one day just go pick up some rocks inside the bank and you'll find some other shapes and different looking bugs and things that are rolling around. And you can match that forage. We're fishing with a little bitty yum helgramite today. What this is, this is just a, a gnarly looking little dude. It's an insect that actually rolls around in shallow rocks and in like river streams with swift water. Bass love these things. I mean, this is like a steak to them. How I'm fishing this stream right now with this Helgramite, because it's got moving water, I'm just throwing my bait as far upstream as I possibly can and I'm just letting it kind of drift down. I'm just watching it, I'm watching it pop over rocks, I'm holding it, I'm clicking it, I'm clicking it, I'm clicking it. And anytime that I actually get next to a boulder or a piece of grass that I think is good, I'm just gonna hold that thing. I'm gonna hold it right there and I'm gonna try to get that bait hung and I'm just gonna let it drift past it. And that's whenever I get most of my bites. What do we got here? Oh, we got us a good one. Oh gosh, Davey! Oh man, that's a pretty Ozark smallmouth. That's exactly what you come to Yaleville and Crooked Creek to catch. He had that Helgramite pin right there. Man, I'm doing just like I was talking about, just threw it up in that moving water, letting it drift along. Boy, he came and got it. That is awesome. A good tip for just finding the, the right places to fish whenever you're fishing a good creek like this that's got moving water. Anywhere that there's slack water, like because there's going to be moving water, but then you're going to have little pockets of grass, you're going to have things along the bank that are just going to kind of hold water and it's going to be slack. That's where you're going to find a lot of smallmouth. Rod and reel is really important for fishing the way like we are right now. What I've got mine on is it's just a 6.6 six little medium light pole. You want something medium, medium light. That is, you know, when you're fighting smallmouth and current, I mean, man, you, you need something that's gonna bend, it's gonna work with them, you're not gonna break your line. Davey and I have had one of the best banking creek shoots that we've ever had. And it's mostly because we posed the question of what other bugs do bass eat? We picked up this helgramite, which represents so much more than a helgramite. I mean, this represents all sorts of little aquatic bugs that are running around in creeks like this. And we caught a ton of smallmouth doing it. So next time you're out, pick up a bait that represents the bugs that are in the water rather than the obvious stuff. You're gonna catch a lot more fish if you do that. 